This is a battery block four pack. It's got four GA cells in parallel. The GA cells put out about 10 amps each. So we're going to see how much current this battery block will put out. What we have to meter it with is a Tenergy watt meter. Up here you can see the amps. And over here you can see the bank of low ohm 100 watt resistors that I've created to provide the load. So we're going to hook the meter up to the batteries, okay? And we're powering the Tenergy with this little battery block here. The battery block is now hooked up. It's drawing 49 amps. The voltage has fallen all the way to 2 volts. It started out about 3.6 because we're putting so much load. 50 amps is a huge load for this. And there's the resistors doing this. So the battery blocks are easily handling uh, this, this 50 amp load. So let's check the temperatures of it. Here's my temperature gun. Let's shoot the top of the battery block. It's showing uh, 99 degrees Fahrenheit, 93, 96, 104. So that's pretty normal considering the amount of amps that are coming out of this thing. Let's check the cells. The cells, of course, are much hotter at 120, 134. You know, so the cells are pretty hot. So we don't want to run the batteries like this for too long. This is too much of a load. But you can see that in terms of carrying a load, uh, the battery blocks are, are very easily able to handle it. They're, they're much cooler than the cells are. Wow, that was great fun. Now let's try six cells. Okay, we're plugged in now. And it's drawing 52 amps, 51.9 amps. Okay, the resistors are getting warm. Let's take a look at the battery block. How's the temperature of it? Let's shoot this temperature gauge at it. It's just 96, 97 degrees. That's pretty cool. The resistors are 195 degrees, nearly 200 degrees. But the battery blocks carrying all that current, nearly 50 amps, are only, is only 88 degrees. This is Fahrenheit, by the way, not Celsius. Let's take a look at the cells. And the cells are 90 degrees too. Getting a little bit warmer as more time passes, so we're 103. So the battery blocks are easily handling this. You could still, you know, touch it, though it is starting to get warm. And we're still drawing 47 amps. And my resistors, though, are at 250 degrees. Okay, time to end this experiment. They're melting my plastic tablecloth. Wow, those high capacity cells can really put out the current. Battery blocks will easily carry whatever current the cells put out. This is evidenced by the fact that the battery blocks remained at the same temperature as the cells. If the battery blocks were carrying resistance, they would have gotten hotter than the cells just like the resistors that I was filming did. Battery blocks use neodyninium magnets. Did I say that right? They have a maximum operating temperature of 175 degrees. If your battery exceeds 175 degrees, you have serious problems. The magnets degaussing is not an issue. Even if they do degauss, they're not going anywhere. All right, I think this has been a lot of fun today. Thanks for watching.